gonna show you how to install the switch light add-on, how to import the footage that we processed earlier, and the way it looks inside of Blender compared to an image that hasn't been processed through switch light. So come on, let me show you guys something. Remember I told you about um, downloading the switch light add-on? Now I'm gonna show you how to install the switch light add-on. And you will also use this method for installing any of the other add-ons that um, we're going to be using through the course that'll be in the uh, add-on chat. So you'll come up here to edit, preferences, add-ons, and then click install. Now you're going to go to wherever you, you added your, um, your, your, um, your add-on when you downloaded your add-on, wherever you sent it, and then you just click on it and then hit install add-on. And after you've done that, you should see, be able to type in switch light and then tick this box on so that it, it's turned on. Come here, put this to auto save preferences and I still, for whatever reason, still click save preferences. But before we leave there, come here to system. And if you're working with a graphic card, you need to come to optic and then select your graphic card. Do not select both. Only select your graphic card. Come down here to memory and limits and turn this to 256. This will allow you to control Z or go back 250 steps if you make a mistake or you need to go back for whatever reason. So now that you have your add-on installed, all you do is hit in and you scroll down until you find it. Switch Light Studio. Now that we're in here, we're gonna come, let's, you can drag and highlight everything, or you can hit the A button to select everything, and then X. X is delete in Blender. Remove everything, and go to the switch light, <clears throat> and remember where you saved it, and we're gonna head there. So we had course, switch light, switch light studio, and you wanna just bring it to here, and then hit accept. And then hit load PBR sequence. I let the magic happen. Have patience. Patience, Daniel son. All right, now we're in. So we've been given three things, a camera, a plane, and a light, okay? So with our camera, in order for us to see through our camera, you're going to hit zero on your number pad. And now we're in the view of the camera. However, if you try to move, you're, you come out of the camera's view. So hit zero again. And then on your right hand side, go to the top where it says view and click camera to view. So now anywhere you go is where the camera goes. You're just changing the camera view. And right now it's lined up perfectly with your image plane, but you can't see it because we need to go into material mode to see it. Now, if we were to grab this point light and go G and X to go side to side, you don't see the light affecting it. <clears throat> That's because we're in material mode. If we go into render mode, now hit G and X, and you can see how the light is actually affecting the subject. Let me hit G and Y and come back some because you get a better result being a little further away. G, thank you. G and X. And you can just see how the shadows, you know, how they actually react with the body based on where the light is. You know? So cool. Let's try this. Let's change the color of this to red and then click on a mouse, hit, click on that light, hit shift and D to duplicate it, then V and X to go left to right. Now let's change the color of this one to blue or green. And then G and X. And let's just move it over a little more and let's find that other light and let's just increase the intensity. And if you want to soften it, then just increase the radius. But as you can see, we got red on this side, green on this side, like we shot in real life. 
It's insane. And let's make it nighttime real quick. I'm going to show you. I'll show you how to install these later. Now, I want to do a comparison for you guys. I want to put an image plane next to this one that was not ran through switch light, just so you can see the difference between with and without and how the light interacts. So check this out. Add a mesh, an image, mesh plane. It's going to ask us where we want to go. We're going to just go directly to where we pulled this one from, but just the PNG sequence, okay? So our batch rename, let's collect the first one and hit A. And then over here, detect image as sequence and then import image as planes. As you can see, it is way larger than our other image. Now GX, let's bring it to the side. Let's bring it on this side. And let's take our point light and just move it over some. GX. And you can see that the red light does affect the other image plane. Let me move this one over. Because they're in front of each other, so they're affecting each other. But look how the shadow from my other character resonates back on that image plane. But you see how here, when we grab the light, We see how. Let's 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 dead both of these lights real quick, and let's just do a regular light. Um, I hit Shift and A just to bring up that menu, okay? And then V for this light. Let's bring it up here, so both of them are being affected by it. And G X, and you can clearly see the difference. Let's go back a little bit more, so it's more. Take this one, BGY. Uh, go back to that light, GY. And you can clearly see how this light affects these image planes completely different. It looks like a glare, like a reflection on this one. Um, and in all honesty, though, this one. When we're talking about the original image, this retains more of the original image, whereas this has like this, I don't know, it's like a little haze to it. And that's why we don't take the camera in, but so close when we're using switch light, because you lose a little bit of this clarity. Now, mind you, it's still beta, so we got a lot of time for it to get better, okay? But even with it being the way it is, like, we still can go crazy with it. You know what I mean? And even if we're not even just using lights, let's get rid of this light, right? And let's change our sky to daytime. And I'll show you how much. So we'll come here, color tweak, and rotate. And even as the sun moves, you see? I mean, honestly, there's really no comparison. All right. So now you understand the power of switch light. We're going to get rid of this old jaw because we ain't messing with that. That's cornball. We ain't doing none of that. So now that we have our switch light in, we can start, we can proceed and start um, building our scene up. Okay.